Okay, let's look at how to make an adjusting entry for salaries owed for two days. Notice that you owe it. So if you owe it, you know you're going to make an adjusting entry for a payable of some sort. Um, and we need to adjust for the fact that they have worked two days of a five-day work week, and we owe them for that. We need to recognize an expense for that. We're not going to credit cash. We're not going to pay them because we don't pay them yet on this cycle. Uh, we just have owed it, and they've, they've worked it. We owe it, and we need to make an entry for it. So let's just go through the math here. Notice that it says a five-day work week. So every five days, they earn $14,000. So let's take our $14,000. And if we divide that by five days, because that's how many days there are in the work week, we end up with basically, per day, $2,800. OK? So 14000 divided by 5 is $2,800 per day. These employees earn, that means we have to recognize expense for $2,800 per day. Oops. Uh, how many days did they work? Let's go over here and look. They worked two days. Okay. So two days worth is $2,800 uh, times 2. I'll go ahead and make it nice and clear. Okay, and that will give us $5,600. Okay, so $5,600 has been earned by employees, but not yet paid. Okay, that's our adjusting entry for, for two days worth. So we come over here, we know we're going to owe it. Let's go and do it in reverse. We owe it, so we know that salary is payable, $5,600. Okay, and then our debit is salary expense of $5,600. Okay, we do this because uh, when we are publishing financials, like we are here, making our adjusting entries, we truly do owe this. We truly do owe this $5,600. We truly should show an expense of $5,600, even though we haven't paid it yet. That's the essence of accrual accounting. I hope you found this useful.